Hello, my name is Geraint Jones. I'm from UCL's Millard Space Science Laboratory and the Centre of Planetary Sciences at UCL Birkbeck. And the name of our exhibit is uh, Ice Worlds, the Solid Bodies of the Outer Solar System. But one of the fascinating uh, bodies we're looking at is Enceladus, a moon of Saturn. And from Enceladus's interior is coming this huge fountain of uh, basically snow and uh, water vapour. So this is being sprayed out into space and some of this snow is falling back onto the surface of Enceladus. Some of it actually goes to form one of Saturn's uh, rings, the E-ring, and the Cassini spacecraft has actually crossed through this plume of material to the south of Enceladus uh, several times since it arrived in the Saturn system in 2004. The upper atmosphere is a key transition layer between the space environment on the one hand and uh, the uh, lower uh, atmosphere and surface of the planet or the moon on the other hand. Take Titan for instance. It is the largest moon of Saturn, larger than the planet Mercury, and it is the only moon in the solar system to sustain a thick and permanent atmosphere. On its surface, the temperature is a biting cold minus 180 degrees Celsius. And so water is present as ice balls. As the Huygens probe, which landed on its surface in January 2005, showed us. In addition to the Huygens probe, the Cassini spacecraft, which has been orbiting Saturn since 2004 and is flying through the atmosphere of uh, uh, Titan regularly, has revealed that it has evaporation from a lake with formation of clouds and then rain coming down. It's a whole cycle uh, like on Earth, except that it's not with water because it's too cold, but with methane. In some ways, Titan's atmosphere is very similar to, though not identical, to the environment that we thought existed uh, on the young Earth and eventually led to the evolution of life. I study the soup of gas, charged particles and magnetic fields that surrounds the ice worlds of the solar system. And these space environments are called magnetospheres. But the moons don't just sit there in the magnetosphere not doing anything. They actually interact with their parent magnetosphere in all sorts of interesting ways. Enceladus is a moon of Saturn and Enceladus is embedded in Saturn's magnetosphere. And radiation belt particles are in Saturn's magnetosphere can hit the surface of Enceladus, kicking off water molecules into space, making a giant cloud of water surrounding Enceladus. And we can see this process happening because the, that process produces aurora on Saturn. So it's important to learn about the interiors of these, these moons because some of them, uh, like Enceladus, seem to have liquid oceans under their surfaces. And in uh, some of them, like Europa and Enceladus, they might be the conditions that are just right for primitive life to have formed.